Old Key Lime House is Florida's oldest waterfront restaurant and bar. We've been a main attraction in Palm Beach since 1889 and a pillar of the local community. Between the full service kitchen, the five bars, and the crazy Florida crowds, we've seen it all. So come join me and my family and get a real taste of restaurant royalty. So I've just recently taken over the restaurant and become president of the company. And I figure I need a wow factor. I really need to announce to the community, the public, and my family that this is a whole new time. We're going to do bigger things, better things, and really blow it up. Last week I went to the boat show and had this idea. I need to build a bar on a boat and make a boat that is a bar and show everybody a whole new key lime house. Never seen nothing like this around here in Palm Beach. Because they don't have it, man. This, this is down at Key West. We're going to fly down there. As soon as my dad goes out of town, we're jumping the plane. We're flying down there. I got cash. Bring your gun, just in case. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> jump on, man. Get this thing back here as fast as can. We'll paint it up. We'll uh, we'll dollar up. Make it look beautiful. And before you know it, man, we'll have a new uh, floating bar that we can party on. wonder what condition it's in. Uh, bring a mask, man. If you got to jump down, check out the hall. Make sure everything is good. The engines. Hey, I'm Captain Steve. I'm Ryan's best friend, and uh, I think he's definitely up for the task for running a show here. He's uh, definitely put his time in for the last two years. Yeah, I'm all about the boat. I mean, it sounds like a crazy ideal. I don't know if it worked, but uh, I'm, all, I'm all in. It's a uh, cha-ching for me. A little bit of money. Oh, that's ugly. That whole thing, we got to just basically... Incredible hot green or something? Yeah, incredible hot green. I like that. <laughs> And rip it down to everything, bare bones, and uh, rebuild it, man. Look, it look, make it look beautiful, and this will be a bar floating utopia. All right, Dad, I have an idea, an idea of ideas. We need to step outside the box. We need to do something dynamic. We need to do what our customers won't do. I'm thinking of the only floating bar, floating paradise in Florida. It's a boat, it's a bar, it's everything. It's where you want to be. What do you think about this? I found one, by the way. You found a boat? I found a boat in Key where West, Florida. Key West. Key West? It's a long ways away. How are you going to get it up here? Captain Reese said he'll bring it back up here for us for a nominal fee. Hmm. It's already a bar on it or what? No, we the boat costs right now fifty grand. We need to put about twenty five into it, and it will be spectacular. The vision I see is we can pull it up to our dock. We can extend. We have a whole new bar that you just plug in, which the city can't interfere with, and people can actually sit on a boat that is a bar and enjoy the whole ambiance of on the water. Yeah, but what's the city regulations? What's the state regulations? The county regulations? You don't even know if you can put it in there. Oh, I can. Coast Guard regulations. Well, I've talked to our attorneys. It's a vessel. As long as it leaves the dock every three months and has as many life uh, preservers as people that will be on it, it's totally fine. We don't have enough staff to handle the monumental business we have right now. Your mother's telling you every day we can't get enough employees to handle the business that we have. So you're going to put more business. How's that going to affect parking? You know, we don't have enough parking now. We bought the house next door and knocked it down for parking. It's still not enough. Our business is growing like this and this. Uh, you're creating more problems. I don't like the idea. Well, you know, if you build it, they will come, and people will come to a place they want to go. They will find ways. How do rats get into houses? You don't how need do any find? business. Look at the parking lot now. It's full. It's closed. you got people waiting in line. How are they even going to get to this boat bar? I don't know. Well, my dad did not really originally like the boat idea. Yeah, I'm the dad, Ryan's dad. I've had 40 restaurants, not all successful, of course, but uh, here I am with my best of all, the Old Key Lime House. I remember starting the Old Key Lime House, and Ryan was this tall. So Ryan and Clementine have kind of grown up in the 
in the restaurant business, learning it little by little and running around as kids and now uh, here as adults. My name is Clementine. I'm Wayne's daughter, Ryan's sister, on a good day, Kathy's daughter. Ryan taking over the restaurant is great because it's not me. He's the guy who comes up with the kooky ideas. I'm the guy that doesn't like him usually. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But, you know, what is this boat idea? So does he not like the idea? No, he doesn't. Do I like the idea? Yes, I do. Am I going to do the boat? Absolutely. I think it's awesome that he's getting this restaurant. I think it's time. He's matured. He's ready for it. He's ready for the challenge. Just like his dad always said, I feel like you have to take a risk and go for it. It's something that you really want. Is she the best bartender you ever trained or what? One of the best. One of the best. The family was crazy enough to uh, take on a school teacher. It ended up working out so well that uh, I left teaching and made bartending in my mainstay at the Key Lamb House. And I've got one of the best offices, I think, probably in the world. My name is David. I'm the kitchen manager here at the uh, old Key Lime House. Been here, oh God, going on 15 years now. So I, I've seen a lot. It's chaotic, but I think it's probably controlled chaos. It, it, we're, we're pushing out so much food, you, it kind of boggles your mind. You're, you're staring at a computer screen with uh, 70, 80, 90, 100 meals on it. It's a, if we don't coordinate well with the, the hostesses, uh, sometimes it'll, it'll get us backed up. So they, they do a great job. We hire only the finest looking women around. <laughs> Take a look at this. If you haven't had this key lime pie, you really haven't had key lime pie. I can remember my grandma making it for me in Key West. This wonderful key lime pie would always be waiting for us. I mean, 24 hours a day. So uh, having that original recipe and working on it over the years with uh, Ryan and Chef JP out of Fort Lauderdale, uh, the best. Uh, we have come up with uh, grandma's recipe, even better than grandma made. Obviously, there's a couple of different generations of uh, Corderos running around here. You go to a different Cordero depending on what you want. Uh, if I want something detail-oriented, some kind of specific procedure, I might go to Kathy or Wayne. If I want some big picture item or a kitchen item, I'm probably going to go to Ryan. So we've got this awesome PCB pipe that's been sanded and sanitized, obviously. And now we're gonna construct it with our green onions, cucumbers. I like to make a little avocado paste. With our avocado, it helps bind some of the ingredients together as we start the process. Ooh. Building our tower. Voila, you have a crab and shrimp tower, which is fun, delicious, and exciting. This one is uh, so much so my favorite. I had to name it after my dad, Wayno. Nice grilled salmon, fried goat cheese, which I love, and an onion confit. Onion confit is a uh, caramelized onion uh, balanced with its sweet and sour with balsamic vinegar and brown sugar. And it comes up this dark, dark brown uh, caramelized onion that is just one of the best things you can eat. We plate it up with our grilled salmon. Yum. The horseradish aioli. Well, that is something. Now, I want to make sure it's good. I don't want to send out bad product to the customer. <laughs> That's fantastic. And I like to say when we're cooking, man, turn up the heat, it's time to eat. I think it's going to be really special for Ryan to really feel like he's coming into his own with the restaurant and with his marriage and with being a father. I think that's going to look really good on him. Hey, Phil. I some shots, but I'm going to be wearing this all day. So, uh, hey, you might. Uh-oh. Monday, Easter, Sunday. I have like four more. <laughs> Okay. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Are ready. It's, it's hard. hard. Burgers. It's, it's hard. hard. It's hard. I was in a bunny costume, hopping around all day, doing Easter bunny things, eggs and whatnot. Uh, you know, a little tired, a little hot, I want some me time, so I've done some shots. I uh, might have had a little hiccup here or there, but hey man, bunnies have fun too. 
My wife is everything. She uh, balances me, she keeps me sane, she really is, uh, she's my rock. Yeah, I do work hard. Do I sometimes maybe lose focus and she doesn't get enough attention? Yeah. Am I gonna refocus? Yeah. That's what I wanna talk about, is the restaurant. I feel like you don't make enough time for me. We've only been married for two years. I feel like our marriage is already like, we've been married for 50 years. Like there's no spark to it anymore because you're always at the restaurant. Okay, you want to build this house, right? Well, that takes money. This is our vehicle. I have to get here. I have to work here so this, you know, goes boom. So then we can pay for this big house, all these, you know, vacations, kids, dogs, you know, all this. And I understand all. that, absolutely. But what about, you know, you want to start a family. How are we going to start a family if you're never home? You eat, breathe, and literally sleep key lime, like even in your dreams. This is all you ever want to do. This is, this is, you know, this again is a vehicle. This is what's going to give us what we want to do. This is what's going to provide. I mean, this okay, is... so when is it, like, my turn? Well, I mean, I don't understand. When's it my turn to be number one? Because I didn't get married to be number two or three. Now you're off on Your Mondays. Your mom doesn't have enough bartenders and I have to work all the time? You're off on Mondays. Okay, you're going to tell her that then. Yes. I'm not telling her. I will her. tell her that. I will tell her to her face. All right. And I'll slap her. <laughs> Just kidding. All, all right, to, Monday will be our day. Our day. If we RCDC don't have Mondays, day. then it's not, I mean. Ryan Cordero, Danny we Cordero. We need to lead that, need that to like stay, you know, sane together. The conversation with my wife, I think went well. I think she's going to grill me a lot more later. I'm gonna change Monday to be Danny Day. I'm gonna actually put that in the schedule. It no longer exists as Monday, it's now Danny Day. Haley just came up to me. I don't even know how she found out. Michelle Garcia got a DUI yesterday. She was driving down Lantern Road right here, pulled over by the cops, screaming profanities at them, trying to fight with them, dropping the Cordero name. What? This is something that I know you guys are gonna freak out about. I'm Christina. I'm a manager at Old Key Lime House. I've been here for almost a year now. Um, basically, she had got pulled over. She had been drinking all day. She harassed a couple cops. Uh, supposedly, she was with other employees somewhere getting drunk. They let her leave. She got pulled over. For her to go and do that and represent us in that way is beyond unacceptable. Mm -hmm. <sighs> what is Kathy going to say? Uh, let's not tell her, because you know her, she's going to go nuts. Fire's going to shoot out of her nose, steam's going to shoot out of her ears. It's going to be and... awful. Hi, I'm Kathy Cordero. I'm Ryan's mom. I'm a little bit of everything around here. Well, yeah. She did what? Uh, Chief, I appreciate it. Uh, I hope to see you soon, and again, I apologize, man. Thank you. Bye. They almost tased her. And they had to physically restrain her. They needed two extra units. She's been a great model employee, and she has a daughter to support, so I can't fire, but I do need to send a clear message. She's going to be suspended for two weeks. And if anything like this happens again, that's it. It's no three-strike policy here. It's one, you got me. Two, you're done. I'm here anywhere between 40 to 50 hours a week, so I do see a lot of, you know, anywhere between Ryan or Kathy during the day or um, Clementine's in and out here and there, and Wayne's, you know, always around living right there next door. Um, and, you know, there's always some kind of family dynamic going on and, you know, we hear all kinds of different sides of it and definitely keeps it interesting here. Adding the boat bar is gonna be freaking crazy. You know, people wanna be on the water when they come here. They wanna be on the dock tables. They wanna be, you know, see what's going on outside and I think it's gonna be great. Hey, Mom. Hey. Got an idea. Okay. I want to build another bar. We got, you got five fingers, five bars. We need five bars here. And I want to do something different. Wow. What do you I, have in mind? I want to go buy a big catamaran, wipe it out, build a giant bar on the catamaran. So it's kind of like a mobile bar, uh, a mobile key lime. We can take it anywhere to the music fest on the water. And it is a bar. It's key lime on the water, moving, grooving, doing it all. Really? I'm tired. How many bars do we need? So if you're gonna spend that kind of money, you better make it work, or otherwise I'm gonna hold it over your head for a long time. I think it's got potential. If you wanna do it, I'll stand behind you, but if you mess it up, I'm gonna be pissed off. She can be a little scary. She can be intimidating, definitely. Um, don't piss her off. 
People always ask me, uh, is it really true that you work with your ex-wife? I say, well, it's, it's, it wasn't planned that way, but it's an interesting story. You know, when I first hire her as a waitress, because we were looking for really good looking waitresses, and so I hired her, and uh, we ended up getting married. So at first she was working for me, and then we got married, I was working for her. Then we got divorced, she fired me, I guess you might say. Uh, then I rehired her, so she was working for me again. I don't know where to sense it's the craziest thing you've ever seen, but it does work. All right, so we're going to Key West, we're getting this boat. I don't give a shit what anybody says, we're doing it. Are you ready? I'm ready. Giddy up. Giddy. Boom! is here. Uh, I can't believe it's a success. It's finally done. Dude, hard work's paid off. Another plan came through. <laughs> we got the drinks, now we just need the chairs, man. For sure, cheers. Good job, Steve. What's the next adventure? I don't know, can I at least get a day or two to think about it? <laughs> That's not how we roll. Booze cruising, party barging, Sunday fun days. What else are you gonna do to the boat? Put the chairs on, it's ready to go. Giddy up. Boom. Wow, the boat looks a lot better than I thought it did. Maybe this can work, I'm not sure. You have to explain it to me a little more, but by the reaction of the people, uh, I guess they really want to be on a boat, on the water, being able to drink. When we saw it, we knew it was going to work, and seeing it arrive here is really cool. We just opened up the boat bar. It's freaking packed. We're super excited. Everyone's trying to get out there. We don't even have enough seats for people to sit out there. Um, I did, honestly didn't even think this was going to come together. Well, here we are at the end of the day. I did it. I got the boat. I built it. It's beautiful and it has been banging. It has been packed every single day it's been here. There's been a waiting line to get on it. So in the end, I told you so. There's no reason or rhyme why this place is as crazy as it is, but it gets a volume of people that is insane. And uh, with the music, the waterfront, and the collection of different varieties of people, whatever category you want is here. Uh, so you don't know who you're sitting next to, and usually you don't care, but you're having a good time. We really have a lot of fun. I can't believe I get paid to do this. It's always fun, wild, crazy, out of control here between mom, dad, sister, wife, Captain Steve. You never know what's going to happen next at Old Key Lime House.